Finding out about Captain Bly, is the 1935 film good evidence for this? So Bly is a man, really, the, the popular movies and the popular press portray Bly as a bit of a tyrant. And I suppose that's quite easy to understand when you think of some of the punishment that he, he gave out to people. You have to remember that those times were very brutal anyway and discipline was very harsh uh, on most ships. The Navy was still very much in the infancy of, of standardization with, with everything from, from ranks to um, the construction of the ships. Bounty was uh, 28 metres long, and if you compare that with um, HMS Victory, which was Lord Nelson's ship, that was twice the length. So um, she was half the length of HMS Victory. At the start of the Pegasus project, we watched a film called The Mutiny on the Bounty. And um, well, in the film, they showed him as a tyrant, and really mean to his men by giving out really cruel punishments. I think that Bly was a good leader but a horrible person because of the way the film portrayed him. But after doing loads of research we found out that the film was based off of a diary of a mutineer who hated uh, Captain Bly. So it won't be very accurate because he might have written stuff, like horrible stuff about him. I think Bly was made to look like a man who was really mean but I actually think he was quite generous to his crew as he gave out less lashes than other um, captains did to their crew. And he changed the sleeping hours so that his crew were getting enough rest. How many passengers was the launch designed to carry? Well, Captain Bly was set adrift with 18 other sailors that were loyal to, to him. There was actually more that was loyal, but there wasn't room in the boat, which is a 23-foot ship's launch the working boat of the ship, basically. I think if you can imagine yourself um, with, say, 19 other people um, in a very small cupboard, so you're all squished up very tight together, people having to lie on top of each other, nobody able to stand up properly, uh, it would have been very, very uncomfortable, and bear in mind that they were, they were like that for over two months. How safe would it have been for Captain Bly and his men out on the open sea? With 19 people in the boat, uh, there wasn't a lot of space between the top of the water and the top of the boat, and um, they encountered a lot of gales and high seas, and they had to build up the sides of the boat with canvas covers uh, to give them a bit more protection, so it would have been very dangerous for them. What would it be like for the men set adrift on the launch? I mean, they were 48 days in this boat, and if you can imagine doing a journey of some 3,618 nautical miles in very, very cramped conditions, they had to have a system where they rotated everybody every few hours, and they had certain people on watch looking out for hazards, because um, a lot of this was uncharted water. Was the launch easy to sail? They had storms for, I think, coming on for half the journey. They were constantly soaking wet. You know, the conditions were really hard. So just being able to rotate the crew around so somebody was sitting up for a few hours, somebody else would be lying down underneath the seats. He had his crew's well-being very much to his heart. Um, he was a bit ahead of his time, I think, in, in those respects. Do you think Bly was a good captain? For a, um, a relatively young man in charge of that expedition, I think he, he was probably a very hard man, but I also think he was very skillful. He clearly was a very good navigator and an excellent sailor. I think Captain Bly needed to be strict so he could keep his crew controlled so they wasn't silly or just messing around and would do their job. When he gave out the lashes, he did it so that he could, he showed his crew that he was the boss and you had to listen, that he, they had to listen to him. I think that this project will create a new image in people's minds because from the evidence that we found from books and from Blythe's diary that he wrote on the voyage, he seems quite a respectful man. He really cared for his men's health, like scrubbing in the deck so they won't get diseases and giving them porridge every morning. I think that Captain Bly was a respectable captain because he did treat his crew with respect because 
We found out some information that when he was set adrift on the launch, he asked his crew whether he, they wanted a ration which showed that he respected them. If I had to pick a side on the mutiny, that's a tough choice, but I think I would pick uh, Fletcher Christian. This is because uh, Blythe, they could have died. It could have been tragedy. But with Fletcher Christian, they all got to like relax. But if they were found, they could have got executed. So I might have picked Bly if I had to.